Elevate TV, Advancing Kingdom Lifestyle. We are so grateful this morning, oh God. Rekaya talala la masokoli la magayande. My soul magnifies the Lord. My soul lift the name of the Lord. Likaya talala masokoli la magayanda. Likaya tere karaba sokoli la magayanda. Thank you for your mercies, oh God, because the Bible says that your mercies are new every morning. Thank you, Lord, because your mercies are new. This this morning, repe so koli la magaya talala na masekeli na mayanda. Rikaya talala masokoli la magaya ande. My soul magnifies the Lord. Rikaya talala masokoli la magaya ande. This morning, I lift my voice and worship Your name, O oh God. Rikaya talala masokoli la mayanda. In Your praises, that way I choose to be. In Your praises, that way I choose to stay. Riko shari la magaya tali la mayanda ye karaba sokoli la magayanda likaya tala la masokoli la magayande I lift your name this morning I exalt your name this morning rikaya tala la masokoli la mayanda you alone are worthy to be praised you alone are worthy to be lifted likaya tala la masokoli la mayanda likaya tala la masokoli la mayande thank you for loving me, O oh God. Repe so kora bagaya talala la masokoli la mayanda likaya talala masokoli la mayande liko sekeri la magayande. I have come to say thank you. I have come to say thank you, O God. Likaya talala masokoli la mayanda likaya talaba sokoli la magayande. I bless your name, O God. I lift your name on high. Sheko repe kara magasekeli la mayanda. I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your mercy, O God. Leko serere bagaya talala na ye karaba sokoli la magayanda ye kerebe sokoli la magaya talila na mayanda. You are worthy to be praised, O God. You are worthy to be lifted, and King of glory. Rikaya talala na masokoli la mayanda. You will never change. You receive. You will remain to you will still to be the Lord. Rekaraba sokoli la magayanda. Reko shekeri la magayanda. Lekaya tarala la masokoli la mayanda. You are glorious. You are awesome God. Rekaya tarala masokoli la mayanda. We bless your name, Jesus. We exalt your name, King of Glory. Repe sokaria magaya tarala masera na yekarama sokoli na mayande. This morning we have come to your praises with our heart full of thanksgiving, full of praise, O God. Reko seke repe kaya tarala na na mayanda. Yes, Lord, you're worthy. We lift your name in this place, O God. We have so to name of God, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be lifted. Repesa karamagayanta, likaya taraba sokoli la mayanda, leko shekari amagayanta, liko sekere pe karamayanta. Yenareda, we glorify your name. We glorify your name. Repesa karamayanta. Likaya talala ba sokoli na magayande. Thank you, Jesus. Repe sagana la maya talala la mayanda. Likaya tora ba sokoli la mayanda. Likaya talala la ma sokoli la mayande. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. Shara be salala la la mayande. Oh, my soul magnifies the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. Repesara la la nena. Likaya tala la masokoli la mayana. Likaya tala la masokoli la mayana. Oh, repesara la mayana tala la la ne. Napenda ni kai uwe poni mwako Shalama sekarirani 
have a confession this morning as you begin today the song is our weapon of advancement we are declaring that God never changes situations are changing men can change but God never changes the Bible says he is the same yesterday today and forever and today we take a stand to declare the Lord our God he will never change he will remain our helper he will remain our strength he will remain our victory he will remain our God we take a stand oh you will never Take a stand. What you have done all? Take a stand. That God never changes. Politics may change. Men may change. Situations will change. But I take a stand with God. Ah, my God never changes. I take my stand with God today. Shaleka Paragaya. He remains to be a deliverer. He remains to be our help in time of trouble. He remains to be our lifter of our head. He remains to be the turn of God. He remains to be the God of peace who will crush Satan at our feet. He remains to be the Lord of Lords, the King of Glory, the Mighty One. Yes, you remain, you remain, you remain, you remain. Let all men be liars, but God be true. Sakepaya. Yes, He is the way, the truth, and the life. And today we take a stand. Wherever you are, take a stand. I declare to you, situations cannot determine your life. Men cannot determine your life. I declare to you, even the documents you have should never determine. But the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, strong and mighty in battle. The Lord, the Lord is king over our lives. We lift your name. Shale Kapalo, Shale Katolia. This should strengthen your faith. This should strengthen your prayer. This should strengthen your joy. This should strengthen your peace. That the Lord is at hand. Shale Katolia Magande. Lepakayara. Mandelosia. Jesus is our king. He reigns. Oh. You never change. You never change. Sarakaya, Lekataya, Mantepulia Bagaya. Yesterday we declare the unchanging nature of our God. He remains the same. Yesterday he was God. Today he is God. He will be God tomorrow. And he will never change. And you will be his child. He is your father. And that never changes. God never, never, never will you change. He remains to be our God. Zakakaya. That's why we can trust him. That's why we can lift our eyes to him. That's why we can focus and declare he is our helper. The Lord is my helper and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid of? Whom shall I fear? Oh my God, the Lord 
Lord is the lifter of my head. They have said there is no help for him in God. Oh, I say they have said there is no help for you in God. But David says, but you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. You are my glory and the lifter of my head. Today we declare the Lord as our lifter, as our keeper, as our helper. Shaka Tayande, Shaka Talaba, Leka Pakatula. Jesus is our helper. Karosa Regata, Leka Palasulaba, Leka Tola Makande. We are declaring the help of our God. It is nearer than you thought. Now our salvation is nearer than you thought. Our help is here. Our strength is here. Our victory is here. Our joy is here. Our peace is here. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I want you to know the Lord is our strong tower. We have no other place. Kakata Mandeba. Over the airwaves, the Lord is our helper. In the nations of the world, the Lord is our helper. We are declaring these. Oh my God. Shandaba Gadaba. Lepa Katalaba. Leka Padikatolama. Leka Taya Batande. Sare Katolia Bagaya. Maketolia Paya Kata. We declare the enemies of God fall on our side. Yes, yes, they fall. Kaya Sukayaba. Leka Tolama. Let the Lord fight your battles. Let the Lord fight for you. Let the Lord go ahead of you. The Bible declares a fire goes ahead of him. Burning down his enemies. The hills melt like wax at the presence of the Lord. Let the earth rejoice. Let Kenya rejoice. Let the church rejoice that our God reigns. Our God is at hand. Yes, we take our stand in God. We refuse to allow every other thought, every other mind, every other meditation that takes away our lives from God. We choose the Lord. I choose the Lord. Makatora Zaya, Lekatola Baganda, Lekatalia Pasota. Yes, you are worthy. Reign, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ayale. Samamade. Sande Kapaya. You will never. I want to declare to you the same God who helped you last year, that same God will help you this year. The same God who lifted you last year is the same God that will lift you this year. The same God who fought for your family, the same God is fighting for us today. The same God who helped our nation is the same God helping us again and again. He will never change. Ah, Shakata Masula. I want you to open your mouth. The same God, the same God, the same God, the same God. He has never changed. He will help you. He will help us. He will help us. He raised us up from the dung hills. He is still raising us up. He has helped the church even in the darkest of moments. He will help us even at this time. He has helped his men and women. He has helped families. He will help us again and again and again. Yes, we lift our eyes. I will lift my eyes unto you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be your name. I lift your name. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You are the Lord. I want you to speak to your heart. He is the Lord and He remains the same. 
Why are you down? Cause my heart, He is the Lord. And He remains the same. Why are situations looking at you? Say, He is the Lord. And He remains to be my help. I have help in this city. I have help in this city. He is the Lord. He remains the same. I am not one without help. He is the Lord. And He remains the same. We are not a helpless Lord. Because He is the Lord. And He remains to be the same. We are a people of help. He is the Lord. And He remains the same. He helped you in your company, in your office, when everything was against you. But I want to declare to you, He is still the Lord. And He remains to be the same. He is Lord. He is Lord. You are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you this morning. You are Lord and you remain the same. You are Lord and you are always the same. You will never change. Eternal God, eternal God, eternal God. David, I tell you, he is called in Isaiah the everlasting God. He is from the beginning. He is the end. He is the Lord. He remains the same. He is the Lord. And he remains the same. Oh, you are my God. And you remain the same. Open your mouth and put a new song in your lips. I told you songs are weapons of war. You advance with the song on your lips. Your heart dances to the song in your heart. Your mind concentrates on that song. It's a song. Today we have an arrow into the city. That he is the Lord. And he remains the same. Yeah, you are my king and you remain the same I want you to know with all your heart mind and soul that God will never change you are his battle axe you are his precious one you are his precious one and he remains to be God and father to you and to us Oh, you remain the same. You are the Lord, and you remain the same. You are my God, and you remain the same. celebration in the house this morning the Lord is our strength the Lord is our helper the Lord is our keeper the Lord is our victory hallelujah oh blessed be the name of the Lord oh hallelujah you know most of us are very dignified in the presence of God but let me tell you what you know, you can never be dignified before your father. When you arrive home, he calls you my child. <laughs> he doesn't call you Mr. CEO, isn't it? He calls you my child. And we need to learn to release ourselves every time you come in the presence of God. It's an opportunity for you to live with something. Amen. I, I am a proponent of songs. I believe songs are weapons of war. Amen. The Lord gives us a song in the morning. It's one of the blessed things we can do. Amen. Let me lay a few scriptures to us. Then we pray. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Let's go back to 
second corinthians chapter number 10 from verse number one do we have someone on the scriptures today all right let's read our bibles that's why we carry them <clears throat> oh jesus hallelujah is a very important scripture um, we use it for a lot of things the Lord has kept me in this scripture for a while and I'm looking at it and uh, is just becoming flesh in my spirit day after day amen it's becoming flesh after day all right, let me just read it from verse 1. It says, By the humility and gentleness of Christ, I appeal to you, I, Paul, who am timid. Look at the words Paul is using, timid. When face to face with you, but bold toward you when away, I beg you, that when I come, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be towards some people who think that we live by the standards of this world. Then he continues to the place where we like quoting, for though we live, for though we war, you know, I'm, I'm reading the NIV, it says, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. For it says the weapons we fight with are not weapons of war. I should have get, gotten the King James. He says, for though we walk in the flesh or live in this world or the carnal nature, that's not how we fight. But you need to understand the context so that we don't also lose context in this scripture. There were men in Corinth who were thinking that Paul, because he, of his demeanor, he was weak. But when he wrote letters, they were very strong letters. And so they would say, you know, he is weak. And that's why Paul uses that word, I am timid. Right? I am weak. But then he says, I'm going to come to you. But when I come, I hope that I will not be as bold to some of you who think that we are weak. Amen? And... Uh, I want to show you, yesterday we began something, uh, but um, he was speaking about the thoughts of these people towards him and towards his team, that later when you begin to see the words he is using, you begin to understand that these thoughts are now migrating into something different. Now, later he says, we do not war. Now, when you begin to think about thoughts, you bring the word war, warfare. Can you see the words he's using? destruction demolishing or pulling down he begins to bring the warfare language into thoughts now is because these thoughts that this man had in verse 2 have now become arguments they have risen to a place where now they are arguments they are no longer thoughts amen now from arguments they have reason they have become the reasonings of these people that's why they think paul is weak but his letters look big they are now the reasonings in the mind. But now, the problem with those reasonings, they have come up, they have reasoned, they have become now strongholds. And so Paul says, we need to pull down these strongholds. We need to demolish these strongholds. Where did they begin? They began at the place of thoughts. Do you understand? They began at the place of thoughts. And I want you to know that your thoughts are as dangerous as that. And when they become strongholds, they become fortresses, fortified places where nobody can attack. In the Old Testament, they used to use fortresses or strongholds to hide. That's why when David ran away from Saul, he, the Bible tells us he went to live in the strongholds. Because that is a place where you could not find him. That is a place where he had defensive, he has defense. A stronghold is a place of defense is a city where or a place where the city was guarded from listen you could not take the city if you have not taken the stronghold the city was guarded from the stronghold and so paul is using that language to begin to tell you that the stronghold was an external place praise god are you hearing the city was an external city. Now, the city is here. The stronghold is here. 
And David migrates from physical places until he comes to a place later in Psalms 18 and he begins to declare, the Lord is my stronghold. He is no longer hiding in places. He is now hiding in the Lord. His strong place has become God. He is no longer hiding in caves because he realized even caves can be destroyed. He realized even fortresses can be brought down. He began to find the safest place. He says, now the Lord is my stronghold. That is where we have to come. Let me tell you, and I told you yesterday, a stronghold is a place of defense. A place of defense. And some of the thoughts we have grown up with, things we have always been meditations, pretension, they have grown and risen. They have become strongholds in our minds. Let me say this, and I'm not, a pro I'm not a publicist of the enemy. Most of the battles we fight, mostly are not even satanic. As much as they could be. Most of them are in the stronghold. The way you perceive. Let me tell you. If I have the stronghold, I have the city. Whoever has your stronghold has you. So, the perception that holds you is the one that leads you. That is why I told you yesterday, you have an attitude. You know, when somebody tells you that looks like rude, isn't it? You have an attitude. Why are you showing me an attitude? The idea is this. The attitude is just a type of reasoning. It's a way of looking at things. It is a way of... So, everybody... That's why... The way you think and you look at the church is very different from the way the other brother seated next to you looks at things about the church. The way you think about men or women is very different from the way this other one thinks. The way you think about wealth and riches is also very different from the way your brother or sister looks at it. Are we together? And so the attitude that rules your mind shapes your outlook. Imagine. And look at what Paul says. That now they have not just become strongholds. They are now exalting themselves against the knowledge of God. What that means is this. Though the word of God comes to us. Though the word of God comes in force. It finds a fortress. It finds a stronghold that you have taken as time. So it doesn't matter what it brings. It may be bringing help and deliverance. But the stronghold is tightly shut. No movement. So the word of God falls to the ground. Doesn't help us. It's because of the stronghold of the mind. The way you perceive preachers. The way you perceive family. The way you perceive anything. Determined by the stronghold of the mind. And so we must begin to ask ourselves. What? That's why Paul is using that language. He's saying we need to war. Did you see that language? War. He said we need to pull down, demolish. That is warfare language. He's saying bringing into captivity. You take soldiers, take enemy soldiers into captive. So that they can rule. You need to come to this place where your thoughts have been taken captive. To the obedience of Christ. Where your thoughts are no longer yours brother i know you you know you know this is my this is my view you know that view yeah this is my you this is how i see it let me tell you that is a problem that's where lies a problem write this down whatever you defend whatever you defend as a position is your stronghold Whatever you defend, all right? Whether it is on God's side or your side, whatever you can. People don't argue for fun. Have you ever met people arguing for fun? Hello? Have you ever met people arguing for fun? Now we are having fun, arguing, you know? You say, I say. People argue to defend positions. People argue to take positions. Nobody argues to have fun. They argue to have a position. This is my position. Including school, when they, we went to school, they, gave, they put us in a club called debate club to take a position. Take a position. And you defend it with lies, with all kinds of language, uh, with vocabulary until you defeat your enemy. <laughs> yeah? 
isn't it you defended your position that's what happens in the stronghold when the word of god comes it finds a defense council it's called a defense council that council would defend position in this family we believe scarcity is our region so you take your bandas where you're taking it so it finds a council that is already lodged you cannot defeat it that's where the problem is and so paul uses a language we need to pull down we need to cast down demons you cast out but these ones you bring down you demolish you destroy you bring let me tell you reasonings in your mind you bring them into power with god's word as long as god's word has said it doesn't matter what my tribe says yeah you know these are good words but until now they become the stronghold that's why david says the lord is my stronghold can you put psalms 18 i want you to see some of the words david uses there until the lord and when we say the lord we are not just saying statements we are saying what god says is your stand it doesn't matter whether you agree with it or you don't. It is your stand. Alright? It's called blind loyalty. Alright? It says, I will love you, Lord, my strength. Let's go to verse 2. Verse 2 is good. Look at the names. Now, a stronghold is also called a rock. It says, the Lord is my rock. He is my fortress. Strongholds are called fortresses. He is my deliverer. Look at the names. He is my God. He is my strength in whom I trust. My shield and the horn of my salvation. David refuses to ever again return into rocks. He takes into the eternal rock. That is stronghold. I want to urge us brethren that as we, be, as we talk about these things, please take a stand in the rock. Praise the Lord let the lord become you unless the lord becomes the rock you are going to have attitudes on everything said and i told you yesterday depending on where you had something said could become that's where you are standing up to today because they said uh matthew chapter 5 verse 1 and the way that man uh, said it you have all whenever it is read you know that is the way it should be no 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 you need to have a newness of mind so that the word of god can profit you praise god it is time to take the mind of God. That's why Paul says, please have this same mind, which was also in Christ. All right? Did you know Jesus, when, you know, a scribe came to Jesus in uh, Mark uh, chapter 12 there, and he said, what is the first commandment? And, the Lord, and Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, with all your strength. That meant, you don't love, when you love, you take whatever you had you let go and you take what you love it becomes the prevalent even the people you love they are filling your mind everywhere isn't it say yes <laughs> right that means you take god's word and you die with it that's this is my stand brother yes this is what people are saying but this is my stand praise god it is the Lord becoming your stronghold. Whatever God says, that's what I take. Amen. My God. The Lord is my strong tower. That's why the Bible says the Lord is, a, you know, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It means the Lord must become your stronghold, brother. When you enter there, you are safe. Because what he says is what you agree with. What he has said is what you have agreed with. It doesn't matter what others people say. Are we together? The situations will always be speaking. And let me tell you, strongholds also come. As much as we pray, because I know there are territories where there are certain strongholds that take effect and cause people to think in certain ways. Your security is having the Lord as your stronghold. Yeah. And so that as you pray, you are praying from a stronghold. You are not praying from where everybody is. That's where our prayers become effective and powerful. Because you already are in a place where you are fighting from. But if you are fighting from where everybody is, you will lose it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's look at 1 Kings chapter 17, then we close. There is a woman there. 
you know, the prophet of God is told by God, go to Zarephath, there I have ordered a widow to take care of you, to sustain you, all right? You know, the widow of Zarephath? And when the prophet of God comes there, when the prophet of God arrives there, this woman, he tells the woman, get me a cup of water. And she goes and he says, as you go, bring me bread. I want you to see the attitude that was in this woman all along. And that is what was keeping her away. I was looking at this word Zarephath. Go to verse 9, brother. Uh, that Zarephath means an, a refinery. Means refinery. All right? So this woman is in a place called a refinery. And look at her mind. When she's told bring bread, she says, I have no bread. All right? I have a handful of flour. I have a small cruise of oil. Look at her language. I have a small cruise of oil. Right? I have a small cruise of oil. The King James says it very interesting. I am collecting two sticks. Now, most of you know two sticks cannot cook. I'm collecting two sticks so that we can make me and my son so we eat and die. Look at that attitude. Look at that attitude. It is, it is an attitude of complete lack. Complete, you know, there is nothing there. I have this little flour with this little cruise of oil. I have collected two sticks so that we go and eat and die. By the way, the woman in scripture has a lot to do with the church. That's a state of many people. I have little. It is not enough. I cannot do anything with it. In fact, I'm looking at death. But let me tell you, you must change that position. If there is going to be help, you have... Let me tell you. When this man is telling her that, number one, it is time of famine. Number two, there is no rain. So the situations are not good for her. And so she, she, is, con, she is already con, uh, configured by the situation. But look at the man of God. He says, no, hear the word of God. That thing will not go over until it rains. In other words, though, you are a, though this is a condition, listen. One of the weapons God has given you is called the truth. Learn to take the side of truth. And you cannot take the truth until you take out the word. The Bible says renewing your mind in Romans chapter 12. Praise God. That's how you bring the stronghold of the Lord into your mind. Praise the Lord. Let's stand up on our feet. Because if the Lord is not your stronghold, where you work, there's a way people think. You will think like them. And let me tell you, every workplace has a thought pattern. Eh? Every workplace, even the most executive, there is a way of thinking, brother. Can I come closer? Even every family. Every single family has a way they think. Every single family. That's why you have family gatherings. And when you come, you think the same. <laughs> You know, you must take the Lord's side and begin to allow God's word to give you a new perspective, brother.